Hey guys, welcome back to my so-called mom life. So today we are going to be talking about organization and mostly for my kids, because let's be honest, kids have way too many things and they're all over my house. So I had to find ways to keep them a little bit more organized and to do that, I got a little creative. So I figured I would show you a few of my tricks. Come along with me. As most of you know, I am a homeschool mom. As of right now, my youngest is in third grade and he chose to homeschool this year. So in order to keep his items that he uses on a regular basis, we chose to do a three drawer cart that's on wheels. And we kind of just like put it under our little kitchen nook here and it hides perfectly in the corner. So he knows if he comes in here, he has pencils, his dry erase markers, his dry erase board, some extra uh, notebooks, things like that. We also keep, he is an artist, he absolutely loves to draw, so we have about a million sketch pads and drawing books that we keep, as well as stickers, inside the second drawer there, because that is something he does daily. And then this is his craft drawer, so any craft items, his paints, his markers, his construction paper is all in here, nice and neat, and if he needs something, he simply just goes and grabs it and then he knows exactly where to put it back and it keeps it organized. Our second organizational is the bin of Pokemon cards or Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh or any other cards that your kids collect. We were tired of finding them all over our house. So what we did was we took three ring binders and we allowed them to put their collector items into the three ring binders with plastic protectors. Um, and then we took all the other cards and threw them in here. We have dividers in here, as you can see, they divide by uh, energy or by different types of Pokemon. We do have a Pokemon club. And so currently we're working on getting some decks put together for our Pokemon club, which is why we have this huge stack that's missing. This has a lid, the lid is here, that will go on top and this will easily go under a bed in a closet or pushed up against a wall out of the way under a table, things like that. So perfect way to organize your cards, like I said, organizing um, by type and just putting dividers in, that way you know exactly what's in there and where to find what you need. I don't know about you, but I have a child who is obsessed with stuffed animals. We have to have stuffed animals, okay? Uh, we actually already made him get rid of three bags of stuffed animals, and we still had so many that they were everywhere. So I found this awesome hack, actually. It was taking a over-the-door shoe storing and putting stuffed animals in it. Now we do have like more than one stuffed animal in some, some just kind of sit on top of other stuffed animals. <laughs> but the point is all of his stuffed animals are now com completely stored. If he wants one, he can go grab one at nighttime to cuddle with. We do have to get a second one of these uh, just to have all of our stuffed animals available and ready for us. For now, most of his favorites are in here and he only has um, a handful that he actually has out. So this is a perfect way to kind of keep all of your stuffed animals nice and neat and available to take out when you need to cuddle them. Welcome to the world of Legos. My kids love Legos. We have obviously too many. My husband actually built that table for them and then we kind of found this one for sale real cheap online. So we grabbed a second Lego table so that all the sets that they have built and created, they had a place for. At one point, this was actually a village. Uh, they've built castles, they've built a city. <laughs> they had a carnival at one point. So what do we do with all the Legos in the meantime that are not being utilized? Well, I was tired of stepping on them, 
So we found these actually on sale on a Black Friday and they are actually meant for nails and screws. Um, and they came in a three pack. Here's the larger ones with the crazy mess under there. They came in three packs of three different sizes and they are amazing. So if you kind of look, they have the clips um, to keep them so that nothing falls out. Turn it around here and show you the inside. These yellow things come out so you can make these as big or small as you want. And you can color coordinate, which we have done. You can put all the little people in one all the extra little pieces like wheels and stuff like that for cars and another. But we have found that these are amazing. They hold at over a thousand Legos for sure because we have six of these and they somehow fit all of our extra Legos that we have, that we have collected over the years. So if you have a ton of Legos like we do and you are tired of stepping on them, I highly suggest getting those, they're amazing. So that is our Lego trick for you. So for our final organizational tip, these storage cubes are amazing. We bought, we've bought three or four of these by now, but we buy them and then you can get the different bins that go in them. You can get them in all different colors. Some of them have cars on them. What we do is we take them and then we try to, which this one's a little messy right now, but usually we have like all our monster trucks and cars in one. We have another one of just guys. You can use these for Legos as well. We had one that was all dragons and dinosaurs because that's what one of my kids played with the most. The top obviously is also being used currently for some Legos that are trying to find a home. And then we keep some open and you can use them for books. You can use them. We're obviously using them for our Pokemon. You can use them for some of your drawing books like my son has down here. We always keep like one or two open just to have extra space for the larger toys or the larger things that may not go into one of the bins. And these are really not that expensive. At Target, we have found these for, I want to say, probably um, $50 or less. And then the bins, if you kind of watch out for sales, you can get them for $5. You can get them even um, at Five Below. They have them for obviously $5. They have some really cute ones. So those are amazing. We've used these since they were babies, just putting even baby toys in them just to keep them off the floor. And it's so much better than a toy chest because in a toy chest, they obviously take every single toy out in order to find the one little truck that they're looking to play with. And that goes, obviously, everything then goes on the floor. And it takes you forever to put everything away and, you know, rinse, repeat, same next day. So we found that these bins were so much easier to use. If they wanted to play with cars or trucks, they just took out the cars and trucks bin and that's what they did. They knew that it was a smaller size bin so they could find things a little easier and everything was put away a lot faster at the end of the day. That is it for our organizational tips. Just five, I'm sure there's a million more and feel free to throw yours in the comments because I always love a new organizational tip, trust me, with two boys that have a million toys and a million books and everything else you can imagine, I need to find new places to put them. I hope you enjoyed our organizational tips. I hope that you can find one that works for you and your family. And as always, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification bell for future content. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great day.